Okay, so here we have a circle, and we have an inscribed angle, ABC, and that inscribed angle is got its endpoints on a diameter. So what must be true about angle ABC? Well, it has to be a right angle because the arc is 180. Inscribed angle is half the arc. That means it has to be 90. It doesn't matter where that vertex is. doesn't matter where that vertex is. It will always be true. So here we have another you know, point B. So you see it's no matter where I put that vertex, the angle stays 90. Now, as soon as I pull this off, no, it won't let me pull it off. I was hoping it would. Nope, it's fixed. So if it's inscribed in a semicircle, then it's going to be 90. This is the quadrilateral inscribed where the opposite angles are supplementary. The opposite angles are supplementary. And why is that? Well, because angle A has part of the circle. Angle C has the other part. Together, they add up to 180. So it doesn't matter how I change this angle. You can see I'm changing those angles, but they're still staying, staying supplementary. A plus C, angle A plus C, is equal to 180. Angle D plus B add up to 180, no matter where I put that D. So if the quadrilateral is inscribed, then the opposite angles are supplementary.